This is the funniest line in Steins Gate. Uh, hey, master. <laughs> I am a scientist. It's so cool. Son of a bitch. Hilarious, but you probably don't realize just how deep this goes. You'll see this kind of foreigner character in a lot of anime. Case in point. Hey, Sokuno boy. You got bad Hachiko getsta Masaratan no Satoshi sono hito kana? Now, while the Pokemon one was clearly voiced by an American, probably a black American by the sound of it, if it wasn't and they have an unreasonably talented actor on their hands, it still has the same fundamental problem, which is that this isn't how foreigners talk. What they do is speak in Japanese, but replace the simple words with English because that's about the level of English the average Japanese person understands. The obvious problem here though, is that this is literally exactly backwards. A foreigner isn't going to replace the easy Japanese words with English, they're going to replace the hard Japanese words with English. Listen to this and see if you can spot what's wrong with it. Welcome to Pshibaji! <laughs> Oh, next challenger was cute, da ne? Challenger was not me, but. Oh, it's me, da. Oh, it's me, da. Oh, you ga. Hey, baby. Baby, da ne? Oh. Ore ni makeru yatsu wa minna baby sa. Huh? What? Pikachu? Hey, look. Baby no Pokemon wa yappari baby da ze. The other problem is that they for some reason usually speak in perfect grammar because apparently Japanese people can understand random English words but for some reason can't understand incorrect grammar. Hilarious. So this literally never sounds like an American speaking English. It sounds like the Japanese version of a weeaboo. It sounds like a Japanese person trying and failing to use English, which is technically exactly what this is, but still. I don't know how this is such a common trope. How do Japanese people view this? To me, it's just so incredibly fucking stupid that it's funny, but that's because I'm laughing at the anime rather than with it. What the fuck do Japanese people see in this? Is Rawhide Kobayashi here supposed to be funny to Japanese people? I am not a scientist. United States, cause and invade. <laughs> oh, I'm a dog. Wait, 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 wait. I'm a small citizen. Do you understand? Do you understand? One of the mysteries of the universe, I guess. Welcome back, by the way, to my series analyzing every single episode of Steins Gate. Speaking of broken English, I really, really really need to show you the English language version of the Future Gadget Laboratory website because it's actually fantastic. I could show you the Japanese, but let's be real, you want to see the English. I are we be rebel men. It even has a comment section where we get this hilarious gem. This site is so lame, you've got to be kidding me. I thought I went through a time warp to the 90s for a second there. Do you seriously machine translate this crap? Apparently made with really bad machine translation by Dado in an attempt to reach the wider world for some reason. I have no idea why anyone in Japan would care, let alone the world. But there you are, I guess. Take the bamboo Compton. When the latest AV equipment and traditional crafts of Japan is fused, barriers of the past and the future is disappeared. Aerial photography by no power has been realized. Video capture is a condition which is rotating violently, but does not mean that is a failure or nothing. We making no claim for this regard. Now, here's the thing. This doesn't sound like machine translation. This sounds like a Japanese person that doesn't speak English trying to sound cool. I have no idea why it wouldn't sound like actual machine translation, although maybe MTL 12 years ago actually did look like this. Does anyone know? Because this is like definitely off in like exactly the wrong way. I are. We be rabble man. I feel like translation software would at least output the correct form of B here. The best ever masterpiece, which is making a possible of by all efforts combined of lab. Yeah, that for sure sounds like a Japanese person. Actually, it just occurred to me that they were using a translation website called Excite Sensei. Hey, go ka. And I was going to run this page through it to see what comes out, but uh, in just the worst possible stroke of luck, Excite Sensei actually went offline as I was writing this. As in, Excite stopped running their translation service on October 31st, 2022. I'm writing this on November 14th. 
Bro, by the way, did you notice every single one of the future gadgets is for sale? Oh, I see. Moad Snake looks like a claymore. So not only is it a really great instant humidifier, it's good for decorating the house. Very practical. Special price, only 7,800 yen. What a steal. I guess they're nothing if not entrepreneurial, although it probably speaks volumes that they haven't sold a single one. Another thing I'm not sure whether or not is a joke is that you apparently order by fax. But like, this has to be a joke, right? No matter how backwards Japanese companies are, terminally online weeaboos would not use a fax machine. Or maybe this is just the only way to be taken seriously. I'm not actually sure. Before we move on, you might actually be wondering about the Japanese site, but um... It actually says the exact same thing, which is really weird. By which I mean it isn't just a supposedly machine translated version of the site. Even the comment section is almost identical with the same spam links to pornographic websites. And the only difference is the original comments are edited slightly to reference the machine translated English, which is kind of a weird immersion breaker. Although I guess only if you can read both Japanese and English. Remember this comment? This is what it looks like in Japanese. So apparently the English version of the site was built by Daru, and speaking of things he built, I want to take a sec to appreciate him because I don't think anyone talks about him enough. Daru is kind of a superhero dude. I mean, think about it. He fixes a fucking time machine. What? Sure, he built it, but like 20 years in the future. How? I mean, it wasn't perfect, but also, who does this? What does Okobe build? A Dixie tube clock? I mean, cool, but in comparison, that's just sad. He didn't even do anything to it. Look at it. This is actually just a fucking breadboard. Did you notice this? I didn't notice this before. Lastly, I want to show you one more thing, and that's Mayuri's poster she's handing out because it's also hilarious in the exact same way as the website. It basically says, the dude with wearing this pin is a kidnapper, please help us bring him to justice. He could be your neighbor. He could be living in your area. He's hiding near you. If seen, contact this mail address. That's probably hers. That's just a really rough translation, but you get the gist. All of this horrible shit covered in really cutesy childish drawings. Amazing. Next week, why Suzaha is the perfect wife. As always, thank you so much for your time, friends, and I will see you in the next video.